Hello, uh, this is Kandashi's guide to effectively setting up uh, map grid alignment in Foundry VDT. So the three maps that I've chosen are all drawn um, from online sources um, and I have intentionally gone in and adjusted the map scale so that the inbuilt embedded map grid will not align correctly with the foundry grid to give you a effective way of um, dealing with misaligned grids. So one of the modules that I suggest to help with this issue is the uh, grid scaler um, module. I'll give a link to that um, somewhere. Uh, and it just gives a very quick and easy setup um, which you can then effectively tweak to fully align the grids. So with this one here, the um, what we're going to do is use the automatic scaler to try and match the grid scale to the inbuilt grid. So we're going to set it to 64. Um, and then what we're going to do is use the grid scaler to try and align the map scale here as best we can. So these two tools will align the grid to the horizontal, uh, well, to the vertical grid lines and then to the horizontal grid lines here. So we can see that in this corner, the uh, grid from Foundry matches pretty well with the inbaked um, grid on the actual map image. But as we scroll to the right, it is slightly misaligned here. And on the vertical um, level, it is even more misaligned. So what we're going to do is go into the grid configuration menu, go to the grid configuration tool here. And I'm going to see if adjusting this grid size down one square will more accurately line up with the rest of the grid. So up here in the top left, uh, this grid looks better. As we go across, we can see that our grid is actually smaller than the map grid. So here, the map grid extends past where our grid, uh, where the foundry grid lines are. On the vertical level, the same thing is happening. So we're going to try and go up by one square to see if that matches up a bit better. We realign it in the top left hand corner again and we can see here that it has uh, on the horizontal plane our the foundry grid is now slightly too large for the map but on the vertical plane it's still slightly too small so this shows us that the inbaked map image is misaligned and is not evenly spaced vertically and horizontally so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it at 65 and what we're going to do is adjust the background image to match the foundry scale rather than trying to do it the other way around. So I'm going to commit changes here. So we now have this image. So the horizontal um, map is slightly too small for the grid. And we know that the grid size is 65 pixels. So what we're going to do is move across to the farthest corner we can see that's misaligned. And we can see that, um, let me get the drawing tools up here. The map is misaligned by that amount there. And we know that the whole grid from corner to corner is 65 pixels. So I would estimate that we need to draw the map um, horizontally right by about 15 pixels or so. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the scene configuration tool. We're going to find the scene dimensions here. We're going to get the width and we're going to extend that by 15 pixels to make it up to that. And we're going to save changes. And we can immediately see that on the left hand side, it is almost lined up perfectly. But now on the right hand side, it almost matches perfectly with the map as well. Um, we're going to leave that for now because the adjustments to the vertical um, measurements might adjust this slightly, but we've already managed to fix one of the major issues. We can then look down the vertical and we can see here that the map is slightly too big. And I think again, this would be about 15 pixels. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the height and we're going to take off around 15 pixels off the height. I'm going to save that, those changes. And there we go. We can now see that the grid on the bottom here is almost perfectly aligned. And if we move our way up to the top, it's slightly offset uh, just because of the change of ratio. So what we're going to do now is go back into the grid configuration tool. We're going to align back up the grid in the top left hand corner. That's the point I use for reference. We can see here that on the right hand side, it's still slightly misaligned. And um, wait, actually, I need to confirm this first. There we go. So it seems to have reset the height. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take 20 pixels off there to make it down to 19. And basically we have to keep um, jiggling the screen slightly to um, cause the map to align correctly. However, an issue lies with if we use the, gr the grid configuration tool, it will override the scene dimensions that we have manually entered. So what we'll need to do here is just manually adjust the grid background offset. Uh, the, the, yeah. So we need to move it up by a couple of pixels. So we'll change that down to 13 and save. That's getting closer to the level we want there. So I'll change that down to 10. There we go. So vertically, it's perfectly aligned here. Uh, horizontally, it needs a little bit of stretching to, for the map grid to align with the foundry grid. And it needs a little bit of squishing at the bottom here to make it align. So I'll quickly go in and fast forward through this process. So width needs to be slightly stretched. Height needs to be slightly reduced. And we'll reset that. And a little bit more on the height. We'll take that down to 8. And there we go. So we can now see that the map grid almost perfectly aligns across the entire image. Now, this was a reasonably simple example. So I will go and demonstrate on another map that I've um, moved a bit more uh, vigorously. So we will go back and do the same process again here. So we go back to the grid configuration tool and we will attempt to find the image here. So now you can see that the map is very misaligned vertically compared to horizontally as it, the when matched up horizontally, the vertical distance does not match up, but we can deal with that. So we can see here the vertical, uh, the horizontal path is almost aligned. Uh, let's activate the scene just for um, standards. So we're going to up the grid size here a bit. 109 and we'll see if that makes the so okay 109 means the map is slightly too small we'll change it down to 108 and that makes it slightly too big so we're going to have to choose one of these grids and adjust downwards so i'm going to stay with 108 so given that one of these squares is 108 pixels i'm going to hazard a guess that this distance between here is maybe about 10 pixels. So we're going to reduce the um, width of the scene by 10 pixels um, and move it down to 58. Save changes there. There we go. So that has almost lined it up perfectly, but I believe changing it up to 60 will get a spot on. There we go. So now we just need to adjust the vertical alignment. So I'm going to change the vertical alignment here so that the top corner lines up. And then if we move all the way down here, we can see that there's, there's a very large offset. So all I'm going to start doing is increasing the width by 
20 pixels to see if, how much of a difference that makes. Oh, that was the width. Uh, that was the width, wasn't it? So I'm going to increase the height by 40 pixels. Let's move that up to 2000. So that's a bit better. Um, and it might be if this scene is square is intended to be square. You can just type in 160 there. And there we go, the scene matches up. So if your vertical and horizontal uh, square count is the same, you can usually match up the width and height when you have a um, grid size that matches up. Now, the final issue is on hex maps, as these are notoriously difficult to line up. So let's get started by changing the grid type to hexagonal rows even. I believe that's the correct one. There we go. So with the grid um, scalar tool, you're going to choose the hexagonal and it measures from the top to the bottom. So let's measure one of these hexes. There we go, so 105. So the, the hex maps usually need a lot of more adjusting and it's a bit more unclear of how they need adjusting. So let's try and match up this top left corner. That looks reasonable, but the horizontal um, rows are very mismatched. However, the vertical rows are almost spot on. So I will try adjusting to match the vertical rows and then we will fix the horizontal with the image editor itself. So that looks pretty spot on. So we're going to save that. So now all we need to do is adjust the width of the image to crush it down so that these inbaked hexes line up with the foundry hexes. So we have a, a grid size of 106. If we move across, we can see that it's, it's already at least a whole um, hex out of alignment. So we have one in alignment here. It slowly moves more out and more back in till we get to this hex over here. So we already know we're at least 106 pixels out of alignment. And by the time we get over here, we're almost one and a half. So I'm going to take a, a guess that the width needs to be reduced by about um, 150, let's say. So that would put us down. I can't remember what it was before now. Um, so let's take it down to 3980 and save. Ah, almost perfect. So we can go back in and adjust the offset here. So we need to adjust the offset horizontal. Let's move that down to zero. And the vertical looks about right. Oh, no. Well, I've moved it in the wrong direction. So let's go to minus five here. There we go. So these line up almost perfectly. And then at the far right, we're still maybe 10 pixels out on the horizontal measurement. So let's move that down another 10 pixels. And that appears to have overshot by about the same amount. So we'll then increase this by five pixels to try and make up that difference. And there we go. So now we have a perfectly aligned hex map. Um, this method does take a little bit of practice, but once you understand the um, base mechanics of counting how many, um, what fraction of a square or hex you are off on the vertical and horizontal measurements, you can then align your map with a lot more precision.